Hello everybody, welcome back to Disney 24-7 here. It's Disney all the time. We're walking up over here. I see Guardians of the Galaxy here in the distance. This is gonna be great. All right, here we go, guys. I am so freaking hyped right now. It is currently 6.47. We're pulling up on the harbor side of Disneyland. The hype is definitely on right now. There's already a boatload of people queued here on the harbor side. Um, I don't know what it looks like over at the Disneyland parking structure because I'm pretty sure it's not even open yet. But quite the mass of people already queued up over here. Everyone's on their phones totally getting ready <laughs> to try and get a spot for this new Spider-Man ride. And I don't blame them at all. I'm actually kind of worried that I won't get one. I won't lie about that, but I will report back shortly. <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys currently 7 30 and we're starting to move here okay so a quick update uh we are inside um these maps are awesome by the way these are just like the uh opening day of galaxy's edge maps these things are so cool but anyways um update on the spider-man web slingers ride uh so Unfortunately, my Disneyland app signed me out right before I got here. It was horrible timing. I was signed in all week long, and then of course, five minutes before seven o'clock, it decides to sign me out, which was a, a bit unfortunate. So you can see here, the screen uh, was just loading and it wouldn't let me in. And then about a minute later, after all the uh, congestion from people trying to get reservations uh, laid off, um, I was able to actually sign in and get on and everything. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. So this is uh, currently the situation we're looking at for the line, the standby line to get into uh, Avengers Campus. So here we go. These maps are seriously so sick though. These are just like the uh, the opening day Galaxy's Edge maps. They have like the, the like texture on them and stuff. So cool. Oh shoot, here we go. The walls are down. Wow. Dude. Okay, but yeah, so this is the line right here. Um, if you want, if you have a virtual reservation for the Spider-Man ride, right? Uh, so you basically just get a bypass all of the standby line right here uh, and just get a walk in. But wow, this is awesome, dude. I'm gonna have to stay in here all day. Oh my gosh, Avengers Campus, wow. The music they're playing is great too. Oh my gosh, little, little sneak peek as we walk by there for a sec. Oh, but they got like more queuing over here as well. Hi guys. Oh, I thought we were almost there, but this actually goes way further down. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Does this, is this going to go all the, take us all the way to Pixar Pier? I hope not. Okay. We're all the way down by the little mermaid right now. I just saw um, the credit coaster going with, I'm pretty sure only one person on it. <laughs> That's awesome. Everyone I think definitely has their attention elsewhere in DCA at the moment. The line has come to a complete standstill. Um, I'm assuming because the land has reached capacity and now we're just waiting for people to leave, uh, which is definitely a little bit of a bummer. Um, I've been in line for probably about a little over half an hour, close to 40 minutes. I'm here with Hello. SoCal Disney Dad. Yeah, uh, he's currently live streaming right now, but um, we're kind of in it. We're in it for the ride, right? You know? <laughs> Indeed. See, we, uh, see where it goes from here, but. Like, that's the first time we moved in probably like five, five ten minutes, yeah. right? Check in with you guys, hopefully when you, we get closer to uh, the land. All right, so we're all the way down here now by Jumping Jellyfish. Uh, I don't know if they added more capacity to the land or if they just added more spaces in line so that more people could get in line, but uh, we are quite a ways from Avengers Campus right now. Time is currently 11.15 and we're finally starting to move a good chunk here. I won't lie, it's been very tempting to hop out of line and go on other rides like Incredicoaster and the, the Fun Wheel, but uh, we're on a mission. Just like everyone else here, we have an objective and we plan to meet it. Hopefully, in less than an hour, we can get the uh, boarding group for web slingers um 
but only time will tell. All right, so quick little update here. We got a boarding group for the new Spider-Man Web Slingers attraction uh, at the 12 o'clock uh, session, I guess. I don't know yep. what you call it. But um, we are already super close to getting in. We've been waiting in this line for probably about like four hours, right? Four hours. Yeah, like four hours. Another quick update, we were actually just informed that you can get into the land now with a mobile order. So you don't even need a reservation um, for web slingers. You can get in with a mobile order now, which is great. Yeah. SoCal Disney Dad, yeah. it's been a great time. It uh, been it's been, it's been a long four hours, but honestly, it's been fun. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in there later today. Yeah, so. hopefully so. See you around the park if nothing else. For but, sure. Uh, yeah, I'm going to head out now that I don't have to. Exactly, yeah, so now that we know that you can I mean, get in later. You can just come back at six, but exactly. I, guess, I don't know. You make up your own mind. <laughs> yeah. I I'll probably we've waited this long, I'll wait it out, but yeah, I get where you're coming from. Well, it's good later. seeing you, yeah. Again, that was SoCal Disney Dad. Go check him out. Uh, super cool guy. I've been hanging out with him for basically this entire time in line. Hi Goofy! It's happening, it's happening! Oh my gosh. Oh, this music is awesome. Dude. Dude. Oh my gosh. Dude. This is sick. Wow. Just look at that. The logo is awesome. And this like big arc reactor right here, this probably looks amazing at night. We're definitely gonna have to come back. But here's Spider-Man over here. That's so cool. I think I'm just gonna walk through and just see my first impressions because this is so much bigger than I thought it was. Holy cow. Dude. Wow. And then the Quinjet. Oh, dude, this is so sick. A spider bot got trapped in one of Spider-Man's webs. That's so cool. And then it looks like there's like a battle arena right here. Some guys are playing with the, uh, the spider bots. No, we're not fighting bad guys today. I was testing some new tech in the suit for Mr. Stark. Hey everyone, it's good to see you. Hi, welcome to Avengers Campus. Watch this. Yeah, so we'll, instead of web suppliers, we'll check out the back lot a little bit later. Web suppliers is a little bit small and it has a long line. So this is the uh, entrance for web slingers. Dude. And then here's the Avengers building with the Quinjet up there. And then the big Avengers A here on the ground. Wow. And then Guardians of the Galaxy in the distance there. I do, I think, honestly, the first thing I want to do right now is go on Mission Breakout because I've been waiting in line for so long and I think a ride would be quite well deserved. So let's go inside of Guardians right now. Well secure. The rocket 
Oh my gosh, that ride is awesome, you guys. And that's been my first ride since uh, Disneyland and California Adventure have reopened. And I would say it is a great way to start here in Marvel Land. So much fun. And then over here outside of Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, we have the new Terran Treats. But this is the last little bit of uh, Avengers Campus over here. The second shawarma booth as well as a plethora of seating available um, for those of you who wish to get uh, some of Pim, of the Pim Test Kitchen food there. This is the Doctor Strange area over here. And this probably looks amazing at night too, all these like lanterns and stuff. But it looks like Doctor Strange comes out of this door at some point. But then this thing looks trippy over here. Probably looks really cool at night. Oh, and they have, uh, they have Black Widow up there. Black Widow's up there on the Quinjet, right there. They're like messing around with the Quinjet like Chewbacca does in like Galaxy's Edge and stuff. Ant-Man and the Wasp are here now. Crazy. Intrusion alert, level two. Intrusion. Disarmed, sensor offline. When the, uh, when the trolley eventually does end up running again, uh, the tracks actually go right through here. So those doors will open um, and the, uh, the red car trolley will come right through here. Dude, every time you look, there's just another show going on. It's so cool. Either that or a meet and greet. This looks like maybe it's a meet and greet. But there are so many people up here. There's Thor, Black Panther, Ant-Man, The Wasp, Iron Man. This is sick. King T'Challa and the Kingdom of Wakanda. I am 
Here in stage 17, my oh my, this looks amazing. These goggles, um, I haven't personally seen them in action yet, but I've heard they're pretty cool. Um, basically, what they do is they light up and they'll do like different emotions for uh, the eyes. So I also have these new Funko Pops for Avengers Campus. Uh, you can see the web logo there for the for the ride, but he's holding like a spider bot. That's so cool. Avengers Campus opening day shirt. So don't know how long they'll have this one, but this one looks like a lot more colorful compared to the, the baseline one right here. It's a better look at what these web power bands do on the ride. So they function as a toy at home, but then this is like one of the first uh, products at a Disney park where it actually changes your experience on the ride. This is probably the coolest I've ever seen stage 17. They did a really good job decorating this one. These are the opening day pins. Dang, that one looks really cool. Wow, that is very big. Dang. Right, well the time is currently 6.15 and my food is ready. All right, we're in the Pim Test Kitchen. Oh, they just shrunk that pretzel. Or regrew it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, there it goes, dude. This place looks awesome. I can't wait for uh, indoor seating to be allowed again because this, this looks pretty freaking cool, so. Would you look at the size of that pretzel? Holy cow. Dude, this thing, both of these things look incredible. I don't know. Uh, I definitely have worked up an appetite today, so I'm excited to try these things out. Which, as I eat, I just got the notification that my boarding group is ready for the Spider-Man ride, so I'm hyped about that. We'll do that right after this. Before we do, <laughs> it's a it's a chicken sandwich where the bun is tiny and the chicken is ginormous, so it's basically just chicken with bread on top of it. <laughs> but now. I'm gonna finish this food, and we're finally gonna get to go on Spider-Man Web Slingers, the new ride. And we'll do that here in a sec, but before I do, I'm gonna put a timestamp up here. So if you wanna skip the ride to avoid spoilers, you can do that. Just go to the timestamp up here, uh, and I'll be done with the ride. I will, however, give my thoughts afterwards, so you can at least hear what I thought of it, without trying to spoil anything, of course. Uh, let's go do that right now. Everyday people like you. Tech like me, for example. I'm Sharon, the artificial intelligence that keeps this place organized and running smoothly. Now, our project lead, the brilliant... Oh! oh! Peter Parker! <laughs> Hey, what's up? I'm Peter Parker, and here at Web, we get access to some pretty awesome tech projects. Vibranium from Wakanda, or this crazy alien juice stuff. We have pin particles and Star Tech. It all helps us develop really cool stuff, like um, like these spider bots, for example. Check it out, they have this really cool self-replicating feature. Big uh, This is awesome. Hey, if you want to sling a web, all you gotta do is sling your arm in the direction you want to shoot the web. And that's it. Peter, your spider bots are continuing to replicate and are consuming everything in their path. They seem to be stuck in some of the If you could just handle that for the least. On it. Contacting Mr. Stark. Don't call Mr. Stark! Don't call Mr. Stark. Sorry, chat. Could you just call someone else ask them to do it? Okay. Contacting Spider-Man. Weird. Um, I'm going to go find Spider-Man for a song. Because he's a very good singer. Okay, goodbye. Spider-Man! Everyone head to the swingers and we'll team up to stop the spider boss before they destroy the campus. It's easy. Oh, happy. We have a plan. Please move quickly through the doors and down the hall to the Slinger vehicle bay. Uh, little help here! Gotcha! I'm glad to see you guys.
my initial thoughts were it was very similar to Toy Story Mania. It just felt like it was like the next level, basically. Uh, it was like similar ride vehicles where they kind of like spin around and stuff, you know, and then similar mechanics where uh, you stop at a screen and you start shooting and stuff, right? The difference was, I think the ride vehicles were built better and they like shook and stuff, like, you know, like it, it actually felt like your, what you did in the ride mattered. It was very difficult to film and I botched the first part for sure. The ride itself was pretty cool. It, I wouldn't put it anywhere near Rise of the Resistance, but it was fun. It wasn't meant to be like the e-ticket attraction of the land. Um, and it was still cool. Like I thought the pre-show was really cool. I thought the whole spider bot thing was actually really funny. Dude, this place looks amazing during the day, but at night, oh my gosh. The Quinjet looks amazing. The <laughs> Best Kitchen looks amazing. I love how like each area kind of has like its own kind of color too. Like the Avengers building is blue. Guardians of the Galaxy is kind of like a greenish color. And then we got orange over here, Ant-Man and the Wasp. And then obviously Spider-Man is like red. So like it's so cool how like it's just such a vast array of bright colors and they all work together to make this amazing place. So that's just pretty. And an illusion in and of itself in a way. It's like you can see it just like keeps on going. It's like infinite dimensions or something. Yeah, I really like this whole Doctor Strange area, especially at night, dude. This is awesome. So cool. All right, so last little thing for today. Gonna finish it off here with the Spiral Something Ration. Uh, but it's basically just a churro with uh, a green... It's basically just a green churro. But it smells good. I was not expecting that at all. That is very sweet. And it's, it's actually green on the inside too, which is kind of crazy. I don't know why you can see that, but... It's like you kind of get like a little bit of saltiness too. But it, when, when you first take a bite, dang, it's sweet. I'll be totally honest, not my favorite. <laughs> of all the things I've tried today, this is honestly kind of the worst, I won't lie. But I paid five bucks for it, so I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I've had a great day. It, it definitely started out rocky, that's for sure with the five hour wait just to get in here. But let me tell you, this, uh, let me let me get a better shot of it. This okay. right here is insane. It's just, it's just incredible. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been really cool being able to check out Avengers Campus here on opening day. Everything has been super cool. All the shows, the new Spider-Man ride, and just being back in California Adventure in general has been really cool been a long day but it was well worth it and I really love Avengers Campus and I think you will too so thank you again so much for watching and I will see you all again real soon